In this video I'm going to work out one related rates problem. I figured because the problems are so long that each one of the related rates problems that I do I will do in a separate video just because the problems um, have a tendency to be a little bit longer. Um, every time I work out a related rates problem I have a general strategy that I attempt to follow. Um, I define the given and the find from the story problem and if possible I try to draw a picture. Okay, then I relate the variables together. All right, so kind of figure out, well, what's it asking for? What's it given? You know, what are you given? What are you trying to find? What formula are you going to focus on in the problem? Because that formula is then the formula that you're going to uh, differentiate. You're going to use implicit um, differentiation and it's going to be with respect to time. So you're going to be implicitly differentiating with respect to time and then you're going to work it out, simplify, you will get down to the place where you plug in your known values and then ultimately solve the equation that you have and that will be the answer to your related rates problem. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, what we've got here. In this first example here I've got a pedal is dropped into a calm palm causing ripples in the form of circles. The radius r of the ripple is increasing at a constant rate of 1 feet per second. When the radius is 4 feet, what rate is the total area of the disturbed water changing? Okay, so we've got a lot of information going on in there. So let's kind of piece it out, pull it out into parts, figure out what our given is, our find is, draw a picture. Okay, our picture is going to be pretty simple here because it says it's in the form of circles. So we ought to be focusing on a, a circle here. So if we drop that pebble in, the ripples, I can just draw several. Okay, very poorly drawn circles, but all right, there we go. We've got ripples coming out and that they're circles. Okay, all right, now let's see where it says the radius r of the ripple is increasing at a constant rate of change, one feet per second. All right, so the radius is changing with respect to time. Okay, so let's write that down as what we're given. Okay, so there we go. So we are given, and since it's a radius, I'm going to use R. The R dt, the radius is changing with respect to time at one foot per second. Okay, when the radius is four feet, all right, when the radius is four feet, all right, I don't know that I've got enough different colors here, when the radius is four feet, okay, so when we get to exactly four feet, four feet equals r, all right, what rate is the total area of the disturbed water changing? Okay, so I want to know the rate at which the area is changing. So I'm trying to find the ADT, okay, the rate that the area is changing with respect to time when R equals 4 feet. Okay, all right, so there is somewhat of a, about the best picture that we could possibly do here, okay, our given and our find. And I didn't underline that in here. What rate? Let's go ahead and color code everything. Okay, all right, so now I've got to be able to relate all these variables, all right? I'm wanting a total area, the rate of change of the total area, and my shape is a circle, so you've got to figure out which formula you're going to use. Well, if I'm doing area and I've got a circle, then I need to have the area of a circle, okay? So I'm going to start with that formula, which we all should know as the area equals pi r squared. Okay, now that's my formula that I'm going to use. I'm going to implicitly differentiate that. All right, I'm going to implicitly differentiate that. So let's put it right here. I'm going to implicitly differentiate this. All right, and I'm going to implicitly differentiate it with respect to time. All right, so this is going to become dA dt equals, the pi is going to stay there. I'm going to work on this r squared, and that's going to be a 2r, and then implicitly with respect to time means I have to have that chain in there, so dr dt. 
All right, if you want to clean this up just a little bit before you plug in what you know you can. All right, so DA over DT. Let's make that a 2 pi R dr dt. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to go through and I'm going to see what I've got and what I know and what I can plug in. All right, I'm trying to find d a d t. All right, when r equals 4, well, there's r, so I can plug that in. So I'm trying to find d a d t. The 2 pi is going to stay. Let's even color code it. I'm going to replace r with 4 feet. And dr dt, all right, they gave me dr dt as one foot per second. So let's go ahead and plug that in as well. So then I'm going to have one foot per second. All right, now it's a matter of going through and simplifying and see what we've got here. I've got a 2 pi and a 4. I can multiply all of that out and get an 8 pi right there. Okay, so dA dt is equal to 8 pi. All right, now it is a rate. All right, it is the area changing. All right, look at what you've got. You need to put labels in when you do this because this will tell you then what your label is going to be. I have a feet and a feet right here, so that would be feet squared per second because that one's per second right there. All right, so pretty much a straight forward related rates problem. Nice little simple equation, kind of short. All right, then at this point, usually what I do with my students is I have them write a therefore statement just to kind of summarize what's going on and what they just found. All right, so I usually have them then say, okay, therefore, all right, well, what did we really find? All right, well, we were focusing on at the moment that the radius is four, okay? Then this is the rate, the area, is changing of that disturbed water. Okay, so when the radius is four feet, the area is changing at a rate of eight pi feet squared per second. All right, so not necessarily that this is required. All right, however, with an optimization as well as a related rates problem and calculus, just summing up what you've done after having worked, you know, the entire thing out and, and you've got work kind of floating around everywhere, it's kind of nice to have a concluding sentence to find out, well, did you answer the question? And, you know, can you sum it up just real nicely in everything you did? All right, general process, draw a picture if you can, figure out what you're given is from the story problem, figure out what your find is, come up with the formula that you're going to need, the formula that's going to relate all the variables together of what you're dealing with, differentiate with respect to time, which would be implicit differentiation, plug in the values that you know, and then simplify your equation and solve for your unknown. So nice little strategy there for related rates. Definitely thanks for watching um, and keep looking because I'm going to keep doing um, just one related rates problem at a time and, and uploading several of those here in the near future. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.